Let's take a look at a new modifier for 3ds Max called Quad Chamfer. Quad Chamfer saves you time by automatically creating support loops or chamfering edges that work great with Turbo Smooth. Because it exists as a modifier, Quad Chamfer allows for an organized, non-destructive workflow which enables you to quickly preview subdivision surfaces and make changes to your base mesh without deleting and rebuilding support loops. Here I have a subdivision surface base mesh which is ready for me to add support loops. Out of the box, 3ds Max offers many tools that can help you do this, but they all require you to plan for and clean up the messy topology that they will create by hand. For example, using the Swift Loops tool can be handy, but it doesn't always work as swiftly if your mesh contains poles or high valence vertices, such as the ones on the front of this model. Doing this by hand using the Cut or Connect tool will waste time and create uneven bevels, as well as create triangles which can cause problems in sub-D surfaces, such as pinching. With this destructive workflow, every time you decide to change your base mesh and go another direction, you will have to spend time reflowing and rebuilding your support loops and chamfers. With the Quad Chamfer modifier, you have a non-destructive workflow, which means you can keep your base mesh separate from your support loops because they will be automatically generated. Quad Chamfer will determine which edges to chamfer based on three possible sources, manual edge selections, smoothing group boundaries, and edge weights all of which are passed up along the modifier stack. As the name suggests, Quad Chamfer will produce chamfers with four-sided polygons, which are very important for clean results with TurboSmooth. Notice that because this works in a stack, at any time if I want to make changes to my base mesh or to the edge selection, I am free to do so and can see the results in real time by toggling Show End Results. I can also change the edge selection. The same works for smoothing groups. Edge weights also work. Edge weights can produce interesting results because they allow you to have many different smoothly interpolated varying chamfer widths anywhere on your mesh. For example, we can gradually increase the chamfer size to match the curvature of this object. Quad chamfer gives you several different parameters for controlling the end result. The amount parameter will vary the width of the chamfer. The iterations will control the number of edge loops applied. The sharpness parameter can produce interesting stylistic effects. A low sharpness paired with a high iteration can produce a flat looking bevel. and a sharpness value of 1 will produce a clean, swift loop-like support edge. A sharpness value of 0.5 matches typical chamfering behavior. Quad Intersection will make sure that chamfered edges that encounter poles will be automatically cleaned up to maintain four-sided polygons. Smooth will place all the polygons that are created in the process of chamfering into a single smoothing group. Open Chamfer will leave the space from the chamfer open, essentially splitting your mesh into smaller elements.